Hey guys, Joseph here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video with this beautiful TV. This is the Hisense UHG. This is the 65 inch version. So in my previous video I was showing you that I had some problems while gaming and trying to use local dimming. It just didn't work while using game mode, picture mode. So in this video, I want to say thanks to Hisense for reaching out to me and letting me know what is causing the problem. So I'm going to address that. I'm going to make some changes with the Xbox Series X. And also I'm going to do some gaming with the PlayStation 5. So welcome to the channel, guys. Sit back, relax, and let's do this. All right, guys. So as I mentioned on my previous video, I wasn't able to use local dimming while using game mode. And the problem is actually very simple is variable refresh rate even though i turned off variable refresh rate from my tv you have to turn it off from the console directly from the xbox right here a low variable refresh rate you notice that i there is not check mark anymore so that is the thing even if you have it on here and if you turn it off from the tv the tv will still detect that from the console and will assume that it has freezing on so uh there is a problem that local dimming doesn't work with freezing or variable refresh rate, but that is that is a problem with the console and this TV. Once you unselect that, you will be able to use local dimming. And let me tell you guys, it is a big difference. Now this TV has 360 dimming zones. And let me tell you, the black levels are so close to OLED. This TV also has 1500 nits of peak brightness. That's the minimum at least. With HDR and those uh, 300 dimming zones, 360 dimming zones working together makes a beautiful, beautiful picture. The HDR highlights, the specular highlights are so noticeable. It's sort of like three-dimensional. And games like, for example, Gears 5, they look amazing with this thing. You can see a huge contrast, a huge difference. Everything just stands out while using the... 360 dimming zones or at least local dimming i have local dimming on high so i want to get the highest brightest panel co uh, possible and the best contrast in black levels so i really really like this i think it was very important for me to have local dimming working even though some of you guys i noticed that you prefer to use the native contrast but uh honestly i think it makes a big difference and that is one of the biggest reasons i'm buying a full array local dimming tv right because I want to get all these dimming songs working together so I can get the proper black levels and contrast. Then at the same time, I am compromising freezing, <laughs> freezing for local dimming. So I much rather use local dimming because I really like how the picture looks, black levels, contrast, highlights, everything looks absolutely beautiful. But then again, I do want to use freezing, even though I'm not experiencing any screen tearing or stuttering or anything like that. But that is another thing that we're spending extra money so we can get these other features, right? So thankfully, uh, Hisense knows about this and they're going to address it with a future update. At the same time, uh, we already have these features now. So I am looking forward to everything working together properly so we can have the better experience. All right, so let's go into the TV options, picture. I'm using game picture mode. Let's go into the backlight and the local dimming is on high right now. I am using it and I'm loving it. The backlight level is on 80 right now because I'm using SDR. Let's go into this. You know what, honestly guys, I'm not even making a lot of changes because out of the box, this TV with the settings that it's using, uh, or I already said it worked really nice. Uh, everything looks beautiful. Let's go into a bad advanced settings. I did change the color temperature. You have it at low, mid low, medium, or high. Mid low is sort of like uh, warm one from uh, Samsung, and low is like warm two. So I really like warm one. It has this a uh, little bit uh, warmer tone into the picture. Medium is like cool, and then high is like cool two, sort of like that. Mid-low is my way to go. That is just my personal preference. Motion clearness, this is like BFI or a black frame insertion. Honestly, I don't like this. It's supposed to enhance motion, but I do, I do see uh, the flickering a lot, so I don't like this. All the other options are going to be turned off because they do increase input lag. 
active contrast so I have this one on medium you can turn it off if you want to but uh, if you want a better highlights or brighter picture I use medium once again this is my own personal preference you can choose whatever you like the best color space I have this one in native you can use out of but I always recommend to use native when using SDR it just looks better colors more colors look more saturated and it just look a lot better in my personal preference and once again freezing is on instant game response is on again um, it's working properly no issues with that but freezing is off from this TV and also from the console directly from the console make sure you do that alright guys so let's jump into the PlayStation 5 because for instance the PlayStation doesn't have those problems that the Xbox has right now why because it doesn't have the variable refresh rate so you won't have those um, dimming zones or local dimming problems as the Xbox if you're using variable refresh rate second of all also the PlayStation has some gameplay with 120 Hertz and I don't know if you guys remember but with the uh, Xbox I had problems with the audio and 120 Hertz so I wanted to address that right here on the PlayStation uh, before I do that let's jump into how you set up to play 4k and 120 Hertz or at least the 120 Hertz high frame rate option right so let's go into the settings from the PlayStation real quick this is super easy you might already know this or you might not as of right now let me see what is the output video is 21 60 60 Hertz or 4k 60 that's fine let's go back over here and then we're going to go into the save data and game app settings and game presets and then right here in performance mode or resolution mode I have this in performance mode I noticed that it doesn't matter as soon as it detects a game that has the 120 Hertz option it'll switch if it's uh, if it doesn't well it'll stay at 60 60 frames per second or 60 Hertz alright so one of the games that does support for uh, 120 Hertz it's destiny 2 but only when you're playing crucible so let's jump into that let's jump into control and let's do this so right now the game should be at 4k 60 for that I just press the menu and then back out and then this little window will pop up and it'll give you the information 30 40 21 60 at 60 Hertz with HDR 10 Alright, so we're into a Crucible game and let's go and check out that resolution and performance. Yes, 3421.60 at 120 hertz. So, first good news is that audio is working properly. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but audio, it is working properly. So, no problems with that whatsoever. Second of all is I'm going to get my ass kicked because I, I forgot how to play. Oh! I'm gonna have to play uh, Destiny 2. Even though I'm, uh, I used to play Destiny so much before, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I think something uh, came out, and oh yeah, Call of Duty came out, and I forgot about Destiny. But it is a pretty good, pretty good game. Look at this. It is fun, cool story too. And let me tell you, the performance on on the. Uh, oh my goodness. The performance 120 hertz. I think, honestly, personally, this is one of my favorite games to play 120 frames per second or 120 hertz because it just feels so smooth. It's it runs very very smooth and also the HDR performance. I think it looks absolutely amazing with this to be. As I mentioned before, very good highlights, very colorful as well, very good contrast. I just, oh my goodness, what happened? I just love how it looks. Oh, hello? Oh my god. Alright guys, so I am back playing Returnal right here with a PlayStation 5. And let me tell you, this game, one of the problems that I had playing with my LG CX is just that it was too dark. I'm not saying they didn't look right. I mean, it looks beautiful too. But now I can see some more highlights more details because this TV is just brighter and the contrast in the local dimming and everything working properly my god look how beautiful this looks and oh my god am I in trouble no 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 man I forgot how to 
um, about this game. I just haven't been playing it lately, but uh, it's all coming back. Don't worry. But let me tell you guys, it looks beautiful. This is... Uh, man, I am so excited to be back and playing. Oh, man, I forgot about this. Oh, Jesus. Goodbye! Oh, man, those guys are so annoying. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had this. This looks so nice, guys. Take that. Oh, my God. I will make a comparison video with the LG CX so you guys can see. You know, the, the what I like about LG OLEDs is just that... Oh, wait, when I got a key. Yeah. It's just that LG OLEDs has such a beautiful contrast in black levels that it, nothing compares. But their lack of uh, brightness, you know, because it just, it's just limited to about 600, 700 nits of peak brightness. Now with this TV, we're talking about twice as much, twice as brighter. So it does make an a big difference especially for dark games like this one my god man I'm so excited that everything is working properly and let me tell you guys honestly I still believe that 4k 60 is the way to go for this kind of games for at least for these consoles 4k 60 is the sweet spot I'm not really excited for 4K 120 hertz. Why? Because honestly, in my personal experience, I don't see much of a difference. Maybe if you have a PC, a powerful PC enough to play or to run games at 4K 120 hertz, that's a different story. But on consoles, I don't see much of a difference. I'd rather play a 4K 60 with HDR and this level of performance, and it just looks absolutely beautiful. But that is just my my own personal opinion what is your opinion on this do you notice a difference between 4k 60 and 120 Hertz let me know in the comments below I really want to know about how you feel and if you notice a big difference alright guys so I finally jump into the Nintendo switch this is running at 1080p 60 at least that's what it's reading right here on the TV and I noticed some of you guys were wondering if uh, you can access picture settings while using the Nintendo Switch. And uh, you can. First, I want to address something. This is running at 1080p. And even though the TV is upscaling the resolution, I still notice the difference between 1080p and 4K. Uh, I guess I'm used to already running in 4K when I switch back to 1080p. It is very noticeable to me. There is some jagged edges around the character and then I mean just the, the sharpness is not as sharp as when you have 4k it is reasonable because you know it is four times the resolution all right guys so that's it for this video thank you so much for stopping by let me know in the comments below if you have any questions regarding gaming and but so far this TV is looking amazing I really like the picture I really like the black levels and contrast. You're going to get an amazing picture, either either if you're gaming or if you're watching movies or streaming content. This TV does an excellent job, except for those issues I have with the Xbox. But personally, now I notice that it's from the Xbox. It is coming from the console, not from the actual TV. So hopefully, uh, they address that soon. But in the meantime, thank you so much for stopping by, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if, if you like this kind of content. I'm Joster, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Joster out.